Welcome back to Three Floating, everybody. We have got such an incredibly exciting episode of Fight Night for you here today because Bright Light Season is upon us, which means we got two brand new heroes to show off. We couldn't be more excited. We have Aiden on Dash IO. <laughs> and Sam on the Teclo Boss Vossen. I like that. So with a... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and as always, you guys, this channel is brought to you by The Realm Games. We could not be more thrilled to be partnered with just the most incredible game store in all the land. They have unbelievable prices on all their flesh and blood products. They got us our Bright Lights cards as soon as possible. And they have got such incredible events that have all come down to The Realm Rumble. Rumble. In December, in Columbus, Ohio, three days of flesh and blood tournaments, including a $10,000 open tournament that you, yourself, your friend, your dog can, can come, sign up, can sign up, battle for your share of $10,000. They've got a cosplay contest going on. It's going to be like a pro tour, like a calling, like these other big events, multi-day that you've had so much fun at. The Realm are unparalleled in putting on events of their own. So Aiden's <laughs> qualified. So you can watch him go ahead and, and just We'll take. see. Are you playing Dash IO? Are you ready huh? to commit to that right now on camera? I will be playing Mechanologist. I love it. And we are so excited to announce a brand new partnership here on the channel because we have joined forces with the brilliant minds and scientists over at Fabrec.gg, the premier... <laughs> <laughs> the premier data sourcing and level up site for flesh and blood bar none. They have sourced deck lists from all over the internet so you can know which cards you need to put into your deck to level up your game and take down the armory, take down the nationals, take down the pro tour. Whatever you need, you can find at fabrec.gg. So thank you so much to Fabrec for sponsoring the show. We could not be more grateful and we can't wait to bring you more Fabrec content soon. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a giveaway of some, some bright lights. We're gonna give bright. Hey, we're gonna bright. And that is again thanks to the Realm Games. And lastly, like and subscribe. You're here. You're watching. Be the first to know about videos when they come out and support the channel. We are so close to five thousand subscribers it has been an insane year of flesh and blood and getting to make content the support from the community and what we have been able to build with you guys is insane this is our dreams of how to interact with this game and all the love and the support of everything that we've been doing and all the hard work <laughs> it literally is what gets us to keep showing up and making these shoots happen so five thousand subscribers if we could do that before worlds i mean that's pretty cool we start of the channel last worlds i feel like we should do something i same. feel like we should give away so many flesh and blood cards if that happens what do you think let's do it can we get to 5,000? you'll just have to find out on the next episode of fight night just kidding we're getting right into this classic constructed game three floating shall we shall we do like a little yeah. candlelight sure yeah um, whoa <laughs> Really good. <laughs> cool. So I actually don't start at 40, Sam. This is Dash IO. Yeah. New Dash. Yeah. Uh, so what you're telling me is I'm already winning. You're already winning. Except for the fact that right now, I can look at the top of my deck. Well, well, the game hasn't, hasn't started. started yet. Game hasn't. But I can look at the top of my deck anytime, and I'm going to super use that yeah. to, to psych you out. Let's roll. I Yeah. What? Yeah, go. What, what, what's up? I'm I'm very nervous about this role because I feel like we both really want turn choice here. Yeah. Do you want to go first or second? <sighs> Don't tell me, because I might I might win. Not not with a six. Eight. I'm going first. You got it. Good luck. Have fun. Mm. Let's draw it up. Dash IO. Yeah. I'm so excited to play Teclo Vossen because I get to use one of the brand new mechanics in Bright Lights in the Evo cards to their most devastating potential. Getting them from my banished zone at instant speed, getting to draw cards, and then once I'm fully powered up, nothing can stop the Terminator tanks, nothing can stop the War Machines, nothing can stop the Mechropotent! But I'm, I'm not playing that card. I'm not going to run the full Evo suite, I'm actually going to be running the Teclo Foundry Heart in my chest zone because it allows me to banish cards off the top of my deck after I've boosted on the turn and that's actually really good for Tech Lavossin because that banished zone actually acts as another pseudo hand. As long as I get some Evos in that zone, I can play them from my banished zone, maybe even at instant speed, and continue to try to stop Aiden from killing me. Alright, you guys, the time has come. Some bright lights with new dash. 
and a new gun. We are playing Dash IO today. Those items that I'm running in my deck that used to be no blocks that had cool effects now also load my pistol. Pistol loads are free. The days of loading pistol are over. It loads itself now. What is this technology? I'm tapped in. Teclo Pounder? That's days of the old, right? We're not starting with items. Instead, we're looking to treat our hands like they're five intellect by finding items off the top of my deck, specifically in the new boom grenades, which are the new hotness of zero for fours. Mech doesn't have on hits. Yeah. No, now we do, and it's explosive, and it's super cool. Thank you, Brian Gottlieb. You guys know how much I love Dash at this point. Now I get a new Dash. I'm excited to play all the Dashes, and today I'm super excited to highlight this new Dash for you. Sure. Take a little peek here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start things off. So I've looked at the top of my deck. Yeah. I actually super enjoy what I've seen. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to pitch, activating my hero abilities once per turn effect, which is I can grab an item straight from the top of my deck. It's a Teclo Core. It comes in with two steam counters. Gulp. Each of these representing two resources at the start of my turn. And Symbiosis Shot, the new hotness, loads itself for you because you got like a cool little like headset on there, I guess. So you, you talk to your gun and it goes, I got you. <laughs> That's the sound it makes. Cool. I'm going to look at the top of my deck again. Okay. I'm going to do four boosting. This costs one. This is Dumpster Dive. It says boost. If an item or equipment was banished from boosting, this gets plus one. I'm also going to look at the top again. Roger that. I found no Evos in my opening hand, just four red cards. So my main decision here is, do I want to pitch three of these reds to Teclo Vossen's ability, not play any Evos, but filter three more cards and try to find Evos and try to find some more disruptive pieces. Because Aiden boosted, I didn't know if he was going to play another item or attack me again. So I decided to block with two cards. I still get to filter two cards out of this hand, but I make sure that I don't take any damage on this turn because in this game, my life total is my most valuable resource. I'm going to block five. Then we're going to Spark of Genius for zero. And we're going to go grab an overload script. We're not going to crank it. So this is going to be the end of my turn. But this enters the arena with a steam counter. At the start of my turn, destroy this unless I remove a steam counter from it. And my mechanologist attack action cards just have overpower until it's gone. So this comes in with a steam counter. This also is going to tick up symbiosis shot. I'm going to draw a card from Spark of Genius because I've boosted. And then I'm going to move to Arsenal. No effects from me. I have six boom grenades in my deck and I have one overload script. So I'm going to go for the overload script. I'm now going to draw up four cards, dig deeper, and I always am looking at the top card. So we're going to get this overload script set up and look for a boom grenade turn on my next turn. It should be super easy to connect one with the overpower on all my attack cards on my next turn. We're back to you. My turn is going to be pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pitch four play out an Evo Steel Soul Controller. Yep. Which is going to evolve my Cogworks base arms into the Evo Steel Soul Controller. So they have temper three. And when it transforms from here into a different base that is not another Evo Steel Soul Controller, I can take a Mechanologist attack with cost six or greater and put it fifth from the top. And then just gonna move to the end of my turn. Sounds good. All right, start of my turn. Overload script loses its steam counter. So I get to keep it around and Teclocore ticks and floats me two resources. I'm checking the top of my deck. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm having I, fun. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I've got um, Teclocore in an overload script. Life is great. Show me the boom grenade. I know it's coming. <laughs> We're gonna do a T-bone for one boosting. This needs to be blocked with a piece of equipment. Interesting. I'm looking at the top of my deck again. All right. I will block with my Teclo Foundry Heart, or should I say my Corazon de Fundación de Teclo. Mm -hmm. And we'll immediately get a minus one defense counter. All right, no damage there, but we are gonna T-bone again and boost. Which is great because that means I didn't really have to think about this choice at all. No, this is coming in for one. And I'm giving you my Evo Steel Soul controller. Yeah, at instant speed, we're gonna pay one. Cool, grab another Teclo core. Sheesh, that's gonna load my pistol again. Yeah. This can actually have up to six shots on it. So I didn't know it even stopped at six. The amount of times you've shot me with it in the last two days makes me feel like it's endless. <laughs> it's <laughs> you have 12 endless. counters on no, that, baby. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm going to look at the top again, though. 
four from a med X. We're not boosting, but it is four overpower. When it hits, you're gonna get a thing, huh? Yep. You have two cards left in your hand? Yep. I'm going to block three with a scrap compactor and I will take the one. No items here. I'm going to arsenal this card, closing this chain and drawing back up to four. Didn't find the boom grenade, but we did find a Teclo core. So although I really only got one point of damage leaked through with my overload script, I did find this Teclo core. Now we have two Teclo cores on the field and starting with four resources, I think I'll be able to go nuts on my next turn. So he did have a break point. My equipment was not able to be used, but he didn't find the boom grenade. He has so many boom grenades in that deck still. That was a massively lucky break. All right, on my turn, I'm going to pitch four and equip the Evo Steel Soul Tower onto my Cogworks-based legs, like Tony Stark himself, Tech Levasin is <laughs> It's flying around him. <laughs> He's becoming more than human. Ah. Uh, and I'm going to then pass <laughs> the turn. I've got two pieces of Evo, that feels good. However, the Steel Soul Tower that goes into my leg slot, because I no longer have access to the Cogworks base legs, I no longer have the ability to remove a steam counter and get an action point. Actually pretty relevant because if I boost to try to get Evos into my banished zone and I hit a non-mech card and I have six, three CNCs and three sink belows, then all of a sudden my turn is over and I now have to be thinking throughout the game if I want to make a boost play. Am I prepared? Am I ready for my turn to just end? I'm going to have to factor that into all of my decisions moving forward. And I think based on these first couple turns from Aiden, I'm about to do a lot of blocking. All right, Mr. Two Tech Lacor is in a full arsenal and uh oh, show me what you got. On the start of my turn, Overload Script doesn't have a steam counter, so it dies. And both of these Tech Lacors are going to tick down, bringing me to four floating. I'm in danger. And we're just gonna start things off. Pay one. Rip a boom from the top. No crank. That's three, three floating. floating. He's the three floating. If I top. make it into the video, I'm gonna cry tears of happiness. Peek the top again. Also, when the boom grenade is played, this puts up to four shots. And with my third floating, what better card to play? than a high octane. Of course, we knew it was coming. I'm gonna draw a card, and every time I boost this turn, I'm gonna get an action point. I am going to eat an enormous amount of damage. <laughs> We're gonna crack Goliath Gauntlet. Go! The next attack action card I play with cost two or greater gets plus two power. Open things off with a zipper hit for five, boosting, make an action point. It's coming in for five. Well, I'm gonna block for a total of five. Donate these Steel Soul controllers to the cause. Mm. They currently block for two. We're continuing. We're then going to play out this heist. It is a two cost, so it is going to get that buff. Cost me two. I have one, so I'm going to go to two. I am going to boost it. This is coming in for seven. This is a new Bright Lights Mechanologist Lovely on hit that says when this hits a hero, I may put an item with cost zero or one from any banished zone into the arena. I happened to have just boosted this penetration script. So we've got seven damage coming in and go again. And I'm going to make an action point. Well, I shall give you three with this cool extended art war machine, six with the Evo Steel Soul Tower and the final block. On my corazón de fundación de teclo. Gonna keep it rolling and expedite. For one, we're boosting. That puts me up to four. This is another zero cost boost that I was desperately hoping for. And this one has an on hit of grabbing a cost zero or one item, but this one, I can grab it from my hand. Can't forget about boom grenade. So <laughs> I'm gonna block with an under loop and say no hitting. So I'm not gonna get to just cheat this in. What we are gonna do is play in this backup protocol red. We're gonna crank it so I keep my action point. We're I gonna be so glad that's not a maximum velocity. That symbiosis shot's gonna go up to five. We're going to pay one, activating Foundry Heart, banish the top two cards of my deck, cry, but not for long, because we're back to three flood. <laughs> I'm checking the top of my deck again, because I can do that anytime. I'm aware. Then I'm going to activate the instant speed ability on backup protocol red, which is destroy this, paying two, and I get to return a mechanologist attack action card from my graveyard, a red into my hand. Cool. Pop that. This goes here. I'm going to grab a zipper hit. Yeah, you are. I'm going to play a zipper hit. This is going to be five boost. 
and then that's gonna put me up to five action points. Coming in for five go again. Well, even though I've done so much blocking, I will continue to block and still eat so much more after this, but I will give you the final block on my Steel Soul Tower, and I will give you the zero to 60 in my hand to block the total of five. I'm gonna check the top card of my deck. Um, and... You could not use it if you wanted. Huh? Why are you even checking? Because I can't. <laughs> then this is an attack action, so it doesn't close the chain. I'm gonna shoot you for two damage. How many times are you doing? I'm gonna do it five times. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm taking 10. Going to 29. We got the repeater today. Yeah, truly. Stack up your counters, cash them in with high octane. Pretty good. Pass back to you. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw four cards. Okay. Before you draw, I'm going to just look. Good? You're good. Please. Start of my turn. Boom grenade. It's mm -hmm. going to explode. Mm -hmm. um, tech low core, ticking down, floating two into my graveyard. We're gonna dive through data. This is a new one for four boost. This is coming in for four on hit. I get to opt one. There's five. We're gonna T-bone boost a heist, which I am pretty bummed about because I could have got one of those, but alas. You giving me the corazon? Giving you the foundry heart. One damage and a boom grenade that really wants to explode. I'm sure it does. I'll block for three. Okay. Let's play out our third and final Teclo Core. Comes in with two steam counters, loads the pistol. I'm moving to the end of my turn. You got it. It's up to three counters. <laughs> Not that it matters. <laughs> Drop to four. I am going to play out Underloop. It has boost. It's going to boost a scrap compactor. Puts me to two floating. If this hits, it goes to the bottom of my deck. This is for four. All right, so looking at this under loop, the items that I have on board in my hand, I have a maximum velocity turn that I think I can pretty much guarantee get if I sink a card with my crown. But looking at the cards that would be going along with that maximum velocity, I'm looking at blues. And Sam can very reliably block 15 damage with all of his equipment shenanigans and his new four blocks. I don't think that putting out a 17 damage maximum velocity turn is gonna win me the game. So instead, I'm gonna hold off on my crown and save it for something more scary, like one of his arsenal destroying cards. We're gonna take a step back, take a breath, load up, filter some cards, and try to get this maximum velocity to be just a little more crazy. We're gonna say no blocks here. Wow, that's so weird. I don't know why. I thought you would be totally worried about blocking. Take four. <laughs> Taking four. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm going to activate my Teclo Foundry Heart, mm -hmm. spend a resource, or banish the top two. Mm hmm. We hit an Evo base arms, which is great. Really needed to do that. Uh, we'll go back up to, you guessed it. For the first time in my in my life on this channel. Welcome. Three floating. Welcome. <laughs> Foundry Heart, once again, coming in super clutch. When I banished the top two cards of my deck, I hit the Evo Base Arms off the top of the deck, which is just exactly what I want to see. So Foundry Heart in this matchup is actually doing double duty. It's allowing me to banish more cards off the top of my deck and find things like those Base Arms, but also because it has Battle Worn and not Temper, I'm able to throw it in front of those stupid T-Bones that keep trying to take my armor. Because it has Battle Worn, it doesn't, it doesn't die when it blocks. And then I will just shoot you. We're, this is in a, in this high fantasy game of flesh and blood. We are just having a, a gunfight. A gunfight. <laughs> yeah. You're like, ping, ping, ping. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> taking two. Okay, down to thirty. That's the end of my turn. Passing to the end. That's just yeah. You should just check real quick. Do a quick check. How's it looking? It's looking good. Cool. Looking good. End of the turn. End of the turn. Looking back, I can't quite fathom why I didn't just play the arms, because I had the floating and I have the ability to play it. I have an action point. Dude, play the arms. Boom grenade. Sadly, did not find its explosion. <laughs> um, Tech core is going to tick down. Floats me too. This is, this is just... We're going to play a boom grenade. No. <laughs> And crank it, keeping my action point. Symbiosis goes to two. We're going to expedite boosting. And then it is coming in for one on hit item from hand. More than one. I'll block for three. Throttle for four. Boost. 
I'm gonna block with a new card, Firewall. Mm. It is a Mechanologist block card, and when it defends, I reveal the top card of my deck. If it is an Evo, I put it on the top of my deck instead. This Fabricate is going to the bottom because it is not an Evo. He's searching. I will block four, though. All right. I'm going to yeet in this boom grenade. Okay. Pitching spark of genius. I'm not going to crank, but I will. Uh, mm, actually, maybe I won't. You're not going to put a counter on your symbiosis shot? <laughs> no, I am going to put a counter on <laughs> Maybe I won't, actually. I'm going to put a counter on my symbiosis shot. <laughs> I will elect to skip the trigger. No, no, no. I, was, I was thinking about whether I want to shoot you now or shoot you on a high octane turn. I think mm. it shoots you on a high octane turn. I'll spare you the two damage. I'm going to move to arsenal. You may, you may arsenal away. So I've noticed your hero ability, Aiden. Yeah? Uh, can do things at instant speed. Yeah. I would like to do that for myself. Oh, okay. I'm going to activate for the first time this game, Tekla Vossen, the esteemed magnate. Magnet. Someone tell me how to say it. <laughs> um, it's a one per turn instant. I may play my next Evo this turn as though it were an instant. When I do, I draw a card. I'm going to then utilize the first line of text that says I may play Evos from my banished zone, this Evo Sentry base arms mm -hmm. that I banished before. I'm then going to play as an instant with Teclavasen's ability. It's going to... <laughs> continue to evolve my arms over here. So my Evo Steel Soul controller is gonna be wrapped up in further protective plating, which is then going to trigger the Evo Steel Soul controller that says when this transforms from or into an Evo with a different name, there's the different name, I may put an attack action card with six power from my graveyard to the top of my deck. And by the top of my deck, you I do mean fifth, fifth, fifth down from my deck. <laughs> so I have three choices, throttle, which I'm not gonna pick, Terminator tank. He <laughs> just threw that. That one away. And my extended art war machine. I mean, it's gotta be the extended art, right? I think this one's is slightly better because you always have cards in your hand. You don't always have an arsenal. Oh, so. That's so pretty though. Um, I know. I'll leave it on top for you. So this Terminator take is going to go fifth, fifth from, the top. from the top. So one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five. I get to draw a card because I inexplicably didn't play those base arms when I banished them off the top of my deck a number of turns ago. Now I actually have a play off of these two blues in my hand. I can grab it with Teclovasen at instant speed and draw another card. So these two blues that I don't really care about and that don't do very much, here I get to get my Evo piece, draw a card, and I draw a fantastic little Command and Conquer that I know is going to be good disruption for later. And I have an open arsenal that I can park it in, so that feels great. But it was an instant, so I still have my action point, so I will use the one. Shoot you for two. That's a CNC, isn't it? No. Uh, it was something you wanted to found your heart. You wanted to found your heart there. He super did. Yeah, we're taking it. Cool. 28? Yep. 29, 28. We're winning. <laughs> we're winning. <laughs> we're winning, but oh my god. <laughs> One more time. Uh, you know, we're riffing now. Yeah. Dash, Dash actually sings at the opera every, okay, cool. every now and then. But she's she's she actually cheats because she has built-in auto-tune. Oh, that's true. She's like T-Pain. So sing a little bit and then we'll auto-tune it. Yo, my name is Dash and I'm singing at the opera house. That's really good. Thank you. I haven't heard auto-tuned opera before. That was nice. Uh, start of my turn. <laughs> this boom grenade is dead. This one is into Sam's ear. I'm going to float... I'm going to eat that one this turn, I can already tell. Three sword thin. We're going to start with paying two. Grabbing a penetration. We're script. for sure eating that boom grenade this That's turn. Taking this up to four. And I'm thinking about crank. Because since I'm playing this at instant, crank just says get an action point. So this doesn't use my action point, And I can just get another one if I if I so choose. We're, we're going to leave that counter on there. Because I want to get value out of it for two turns. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the top of my deck. Okay. I hope it's something you don't want to boost, you shit. No, but I will draw ah! it. <laughs> Cards in hand? Uh, still four. Okay, uh, zero to 60 boost. Um, no blocks. Okay, take four? Uh, yeah. Wait, what's wrong? D you look different. What do you mean? <sighs> yeah, I, I must be tripping. Um, you boost? Yeah, yes. Okay, cool, take four. Whoa. What? I just kind of feel like I'm dreaming. I don't know. If I was dreaming and I could be any place in the whole world, I think I'd want to be at the Realm Rumble. 
It's December 1st through 3rd in Columbus, Ohio, and they're going to have a $10,000 Flesh and Blood Open Tournament and a $5,000 Flesh and Blood Open Team Sealed Tournament and drafts that you can win whole boxes at. There's a cosplay contest. and Yeah, I don't know. If I was dreaming and could be anywhere I wanted, I think that's where I'd be. So the fact that I'm just still here in the living room and it's totally normal, we're probably not dreaming. Wow, that sounds really cool. I want to go. Yeah, man. We should probably get back to the game, though. I mean, we're definitely not dreaming. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Anyways, E-Strike for seven. <laughs> I will draw it. Playing a high octane, pitching a blue. Okay. Draw a card. Look at the top of my deck. Put that back. We're going to start things off with a zero to 60 for five because of the penetration script I'm boosting. For five, go again, making an action point. I guess just in case it makes you do things you don't want to do in a certain order. I'll block for five, utilizing my base arms. Using a lot of cards to block five today. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of new cards from back here, folks. This one's the twin drive. It has boost boost, which means I can boost it twice, which I will. Double boost. And double boost means two action points from high octane, which will put me up to four action points. Now, notably, it doesn't mean that this on its own makes more action points. It can give itself go again twice, but most importantly, I've now boosted three times um, for, for, no, for no, for no, for no reason. important reason at all. But it's for six because of the penetration scale. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Block six. We're going to pitch a penetration script to throw 11, five and six. Yep. So I can only block three. So I'm taking eight plus an additional, I'm gonna take 20 dude on this turn. <laughs> All right, I can only block three. So I am going to take eight from the max. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you are hit, this boom grenade explodes and does four more damage to you. Two, three, four. The maximum velocity uses my action point, so I go to three. And then I'm going to shoot you three times for One, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think I am going to pop the Achilles One, to hit you that last. Going down to nine! So I blocked a total of 14 and still took 20. That means that was 34 damage from this guy. That's what we were hoping to do. All right, so. Let's assess the situation here. I'm drawing four. I just took 20. I'm at nine. I'm gonna count the cards in your deck. This is the first time. You still got a penetration script, which sucks. We're Eight, glad nine, we, 10, we didn't remove that counter. 15, 15, 15, 16. We're, we're really glad. 16. So that's a couple of more turns of boosting. This is gonna be tough, you guys. I'm drawing four and passing. I'm not gonna say it. What are you gonna say? I'm. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. Go ahead and say it. I was gonna say it's gonna be tough for me too, <laughs> but I really. It might be tough for you, and you're allowed to say that in a turn or two, but not after I just took. Not 20. after you took three. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I said I was not gonna. Say mm -hmm. it. All right, penetration script ticking down. I'm looking at the top. Let's start. T bone for four boost. Give you the base arms because I I simply must. I'll give you a throttle for four. Let's try a dive through for five. Boosting. Five. Loading two. We're still alive. I haven't seen any of these four blocks in the first half of this game, but they have to be somewhere in this deck and everything's suddenly coming up four blocks. I get a firewall in this hand and a sink blow, which is huge because I have been really afraid of even leaking one damage when Aiden hasn't used dash IO's ability because if I say no blocks and one damage is coming through and he dashes in a boom grenade, boom grenades are how I lose this game. So I'm going to give the firewall here. I'm okay with taking one because the sink blow is great insurance against the sneaky boom grenade. And if he doesn't have it, then this sink below is a perfect arsenal target. It's what I need to stay alive. I'm almost dead, but my man is running out of deck, so... I see the finish line! Played a firewall. When it defends, I'm gonna reveal the top card of my deck. Mm -hmm. If it's an EO, I put it on top. Otherwise, the sink below is going to the bottom. So, one damage coming through? Yeah. Go to eight. When you take that one, I'm going to opt this card. I could have never seen it before, but I will put it to the bottom. Okay and then check the top of my deck again. And then I will move to Arsenal. My Evo Sentry base arms get another battle worn counter. All right, my turn is going to be pitching an Evo Steel Soul Memory. 
It's that Command and Conquer that you absolutely called three turns ago. Defense reactions that you don't play can't be played to this chain link, and when it hits, destroy all cards in your arsenal. All right. I've been saving this. I know. I'll block two. Sink this card. I hope you really wanted it. You know, I did want it. I'm not going to say I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to arsenal. But you're going to take four? I am going to take four. One, two, three, four. Down to 24. I'm going to look at the top of my deck at the start. Hey, get that penetration script out of here, please. That is the first thing we will do. Please? We're going to play out. <sighs> Darn it. The final high octane. Pitching this blue, floating two, draw a card. We're going to start things off with a classic, good old fashioned heist for five. We're boosting. We're making an action point. On hit, I can grab something from my banish zone. Well, here's the thing. There is no way I can let this hit. Just simply no way. <laughs> because high octane is really scary, but it's way less scary when you don't have any counters on that gun. And if I give you an item, <laughs> I give you a counter. So there's three and there's five. Finally getting some evos to go to the freaking graveyard. Blocking for five. All right. After that, a spark of genius for zero. Take that thing that we crowned to the bottom. Okay. A boom grenade. We're going to crank it, keeping two action points. How many cards is that, my man? Uh-oh! Spaghetti! I'll just give you a little cut. Thank you. And by little cut, you really do mean it. I do mean little. Okay, but I have boosted, so I will draw a card. And then, look at the top of my deck. We're going to do 0 to 60 for 2. Boosting. Make an action point. We're going to block for 3, because that 2 is actually 6. <laughs> it is. For sure. I thought you'd let it slide. No, really. I'm going to look at the top card again. <laughs> How's the top looking? Uh, the, to the top? Is it an item? No. Yes. No. Loved you. Two. Boosting. Again. I got one avenue to victory. And right now it's blocking. I'm blocking three. And I'm looking at the top card of my deck. Mmm. <laughs> Boom, grenade. No crank. Use an action point. That closes the chain and loads my pistol. I got two pistol shots coming at you. Pew, pew. One, two, three, four. Go to four. <laughs> Back to you. You already know what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. Two cards in deck. Four life, two cards in deck. What do you got? Boom, grenade cranking down. This one. Yeeting away. We're looking at the top. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking. Penetration script. What's cool though, when you have this little card in your deck, is you know that whatever you pitch, you're gonna get to draw it next hand. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So super cool. Super cool. So cool. I'm gonna pitch this throttle. I'm cranking. So I'm cranked. Expedite for four. Boost. It's coming in for four because of the penetration script giving it plus one. What's this card? <laughs> Say no blocks. For real? No. I'm going to sink below. Okay. <laughs> I have a pistol with your name on it. Alrighty. I got a scrap compactor here to block it for three. Three is bigger than two. Mm -hmm. No damage. That's all. I'm not arsenal. No arsenal. I want, I want all these. Okay. I can finally do things. I'm going to play. Oh God. Here Scrap compactor. Mm -hmm. But this is a measly attack for one. However, I just went and grabbed this steel soul memory from my graveyard. So I'm going to scrap it, which means it's going to go to my banish zone, a new mechanic here in bright lights. Because I scrapped a card, I can play my next Evo this turn as though it were an instant. It's coming in for one though, right? It's coming in for one. Yeah, you got to think about this. Yeah. I'm blocking two. <laughs> okay. You block and then I'm going to pitch four. Good thing you did an arsenal. And then I'm going to go ahead and equip my steel soul memory. Mm -hmm. Giving me three block with temper, and cool. then I'm going to move to the end of the turn. All right, both of these. We can say goodbye to them. No cards in deck. Everything's graved or do banished. Wanna, do you want to look at the top card? Huh? Do you wanna, yeah, do let's wanna... look. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. If we might have something here, guys. <laughs> um, in my head, it was just a little sticky note, and it just said L. Oh, oh okay. Thank <laughs> that's what, you. That's what I saw Thanks. in my head. Hey, we're going okay. until I literally have no game actions. I left. love it. I want you to know. I love it. So... Lethal on the stack, dude. I'm boosting. This is coming in for four. Nothing to boost here. 
You taking one? Yeah, I'm gonna take one. Dude. <laughs> You're going to three? Are you, are you, have I fallen into your trap? Huh? Dude, that's, that was my trap. I'm gonna take one, go to three. Pass. Okay. <laughs> You said, I'm going... Uh, well, I, actually, this goes to the bottom of my deck. I'm gonna look at the top card. I'm looking. You don't have priority I, during... It says any time. <laughs> it's in my hand now. Zero to 60. Boost. Mm-hmm. Four with go again. I'm <laughs> going to block for one. Okay. Of your four. Take three. One, two, three. Down to 21. Can you go ahead and uh, attack with my tech low leveler? Two with go again, because I finally have three or more Evos equipped. Uh, I mean, I'll take two. With the go again, I'll play out a command and conquer. Oh my god, I'm taking six. One, two, three, four, five, six, down to 13. Okay. Uh, before you draw, top card of my deck? Yep. It's a dead joke. <laughs> it's lethal again. No boost, because I can't. I got this Evo Steel Soul memory. He doesn't care. I've, 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 and now I'm, you got a little, hold on. You got a little Vasan on your lip. Yeah, I guess. Block three. Three is blocked. Yeah, dude. He said, oh, dude. Nice. nice. Uh, this is gonna be a tech low leveler for two with go again. I'm taking two. This is gonna be a zero to 60. We're gonna boost it. It's coming in for four. All right, no blocks. One, two, three, four. Two floating, which means I can go ahead and boost out a spring a leak boost. Uh, I'll block for zero. One, two, three. Then I'll go ahead and attack you with a scrap compactor. I will scrap an Evo away in case I need it. No blocks. I'll take one, two, three, down to one. All right. He said we're going to. We have no game actions left. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see the game action you're about to take. We're going to Arsenal Pass. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Tech low leveler for two. One, two, down to negative one. Yeah, Good game. Yeah, yeah, you got bro. it, sir. Dash IO's fancy. Maybe I could have got there if I had a pounder. Let's start the game. <laughs> this was highs and lows. Friends, highs and lows. I do think that's what Dash IO feels like right now. I don't think the perfect ratio has been found yet, but boy, when it runs hot, it runs so hot. 34 damage just casually, easily is insane, but super more susceptible to fatigue because every time I'm ripping a card off the top of my deck, it's like another boost. So playing with five intellect, you play with fire, you get burned by fire. Some of these combos are things that weren't even possible before bright lights. Usually you would never go for a high octane and a maximum velocity in one turn. Now with things like twin drive, it just becomes so easy to pull that off. And with dash IO, you don't sacrifice on on what you're getting to do. You get to use all your resources to do the maximum velocity, and then the pistol shots at the end are just gravy for everything else you've been wanting to do. This hero is so cool. I couldn't be more excited to test her out more and see what else she can do, and just dashes in a great place, and we lost. We lost, but we won. And we, we won. <laughs> Yeah, we lo we lost, but I'm winning cause 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 mech. Literally couldn't be happier. So <laughs> even after 34 damage, even after high octanes up the waz and every Teclo core in existence, we win. Or he he dies. Teclo Vossen. That was so cool. I know that I was doing an enormous amount of blocking, and let me tell you, it was scary. But the ability to upgrade my arms and just suit up into this defensive powerhouse was just insanely cool. I got 16 points of block, including the three off the head at the end, off of those Evo equipments, and then three more from the Foundry Heart. So that is 19 life, 19 block off of my equipment this game. I'm, I'm a 59 point hero, and I was doing everything I could to just stay alive. So I didn't even have the opportunity to like really look for more Evo pieces because I had to spend most of my cards to block like every single turn until Aiden finally started to slow down. So even in a slower game, I could get even more Evos. I could run the base chest and become the Mecropotent. This hero has so many different capabilities. And honestly, we played a bunch of games to test for this in the last couple days. Teclovasen with those Terminator tanks and the War Machines, those are incredibly cool and interactive pieces that if they give you any breathing room, you have the opportunity to throw. This is not just a purely block for Fatigue hero, there is so much interplay and interaction you can do depending on the way you build it and depending on the rhythm and requirements of any specific matchup. So this was so fun. I totally want to show him off again, do something where I can be a little more aggressive, but I, I can't complain too much because at the end of the day, Teclo Vossen gets the Teclo W. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. You won't get this back now. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, let's continue the streak of Sam not getting his truth. I will wait. Teclavasen biding his time. Biding his time. Biding his time big time. Biding his time big time until he can take down the All Valley Tournament. That was super fun. That was, that was, that was super <laughs> cool. You did some absolutely crazy stuff. And you stopped me. I stopped you with everything I could. <laughs> I did everything I could. But but we got to see some really cool ways that Dash I was able to use the top of her deck. The action points and the crank and the high octane and the symbiosis shot. Man, it was very cool. Cool. Bro was had 57 life. I, well, let me tell you something. You, you talk about cool. Look at this dude. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. We are so excited to play Bright Lights Heroes, create more Bright Lights Fight Nights. We know everybody, we want to see Max in action. We brought Max into this world <laughs> and we're going to, we got to, we got to get Max to play Max. We'll have Max playing Max soon, but currently Max is abroad. Currently Max is literally out of the country. Not even in this country. <laughs> so we couldn't do that for this very first one, but we can't wait to get more Bright Lights content out to you all. And it wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the Realm Games. Thank, so you, thank Realm. you so much to the Realm for subscribing. For I mean, hopefully they're subscribed, but <laughs> but we're mostly for imagine mostly for sponsoring the channel and make sure you guys get out to the Realm Rumble. The link is right here. Go oh, ahead yeah. and head over to their website and sign up. We really want to hang out and see you on the battlefield at the Realm Rumble. The giveaway, you guys should know the giveaway by now. Subscribe to the channel and then go ahead and head to Twitter. And what do they need to make a post with the hashtag three floating? If you just go ahead and do that. Then we are going to pick a random winner from those people in a week and send them a box. Of bright lights and again it is insane that we are so close to 5,000 thank you for being long for the ride and for for being the first ones here it's it's truly the community's love is why we're doing this and totally. our love for the game is bigger than ever so if you can get three floating to 5,000 subscribers we have a huge giveaway announcement coming soon and thank you to fabric for sponsoring the show we also could not be more grateful for their support and I think that does it for this video uh you want to play again though? Yeah, I want to play again because I got to do a little more tank throwing, a little less blocking. And I want to kill you! Yeah! Let's go! Flesh and blood! Flesh and blood! <laughs>